Today, I'll be showing you guys how to contour your face. I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step process on how you can achieve the perfect contouring. So after this video, I want to believe that you won't have to struggle as much as you were before watching this video. I'm going to be showing you the tools I use. I'm going to be talking you through the process. If this is something you would like to see, sit back and watch. So the first thing I'm going to be using is um, my Kevin Coin concealer. This is in the shade SX13. So I use this concealer first to highlight the under of my eyes. So typically this area of the eyes has like, usually people have wrinkles. It could be lines, it could be eye bag. There's just a lot that goes on here. Now, before I start, the first thing you need to know is that the products you put around here, around the um, under eye area, has a lot to do with your skin type, has a lot to do with um, the way, like your age or how free, how smooth your skin is. Now, for people who have wrinkles, maybe people who are aged and people who um probably already have lines you don't have to be aged aged to have lines you can see i have like you know some lines under my eyes and then some people just naturally have a lot of eye bags so you have to understand what you have and then that would guide you as to how much product to use under your eyes so for myself i'm going to be like using like a moderate quantity you know not too much and at the same time not too little now we're going to start with highlighting now watch something see the way i'm tracing from the outer corners of my nose i'm not bringing the product to my nose i'm just basically working on the perimeters of my nose and then tracing the product all the way down and now the concealer you're using should be two shades lighter you can either use one shade lighter for like a really mild moderate effect or two shades lighter when you want to really achieve that pr um, proper brightened you know highlight effect so I'm just going to, you know, line from the outer corner of my nose, the inner corner, and then I'm going to stop. You notice that the center of my eye, I didn't put anything around there because that's usually where the concentration of the line is. You try as much as possible to reduce the amount of the product you have in the middle of the under eye area. And now, I'm going to start from the outer corner right here and I'm going to trace as though I'm going towards the upper part of my ear. So my ear is somewhere around here. So I'm going to trace as if I'm going just slightly above the upper part of my ear. So just like that. So, and I'm going to Push the product downwards so you notice something i didn't do this no you notice i didn't do this mm -hmm. do you see that i didn't do this look at this already you can see that i'm already beginning to crease so if i look up you can see that i'm beginning to crease just give it another two minutes five minutes ten minutes you'll see that there'll be so much line um, so much product accumulated in the lines under my eye so this is what i did there's no creasing in the middle now i'm going to use my beauty sponge make sure it's damp so when you, when you make it wet, squeeze out the excess water, you can use a towel or something. And then you're just going to press the product in. <clears throat> slightly. <clears throat> so before I <clears throat> blend out properly, I'm going to let the product get slightly tacky. So I don't want to just leave it hanging there. I tap in a little bit and then give it some time and then come back to finish up. Now... To highlight the other parts of the uh, face, I'm going to be highlighting my chin. I'm going to be highlighting, I have something here. And I'm going to be highlighting the 
center of my nose all the way tracing from the ball of the nose and tracing all the way upwards can you see that towards the bridge between my eyes now the next thing i'm going to do while i'm waiting for the product to get tacky is i'm going to grab my kevin aquine concealer as well and this is in the shade sx16 and i'm going to um contour my uh nose starting from the v you see this v shape here so everybody has that v shape that kind of like traces from the um lower part of your eyebrows and then comes towards the center there's like almost as if there's like a meeting point somewhere around here so that's what will guide you as to where to start placing your products so i'm just going to you know stretch my face and then i'm going to just trace towards the lower part of my eyebrow i'm also using a concealer that is about you know two shades darker than my foundation i'm doing the same thing right here And she, you can see that. You see that the middle of my of the um, contour, like the middle part of the, you know, the place where the boots of product like kind of like comes together, right here. It's beginning to snatch my nose. That's the goal. Don't just draw line. No. You have to snatch the nose if you're trying to have the nose snatch like i have like quite big nose and i usually would snatch it in a way that when you see me you're like okay you won't even notice what's going on so you want to take your time to push the product now whatever is left please note i'm not adding more products because sometimes when you put too much products you end up having to battle with the blending and everything in between so i'm just going to snatch my nose down like that and then pull this one down as well. So you just want to make sure that you know you clean up the edges, making sure that my line is smooth and neat. And then you join the product in the middle. Right? Now the next thing we're going to contour is the cheeks right because most people like myself have like full cheeks and even if you don't have full cheeks like most people want to look snatched you know you don't want to look like the product like your face is all over the place and everything so i'm going to start from the top of my ear this is my ear right here now like when you touch the top of your ear use your finger to trace as though you're coming down towards the outer corner of your lip right here so trace as if you're going to the top of the ear and then that tells you where to place your product and you want to stop halfway stop halfway so most people will go pull the product all the way down you don't do that you're going to end up looking like a skeleton you don't want to do that you want to just stop halfway now for people who happen to have like wide face you might want to add a little product around here and then also do the same thing around here just little you can see that men looking at it like if you look at me you can see that that part is already looking like it's hidden right so you want to as much as possible contour based on your face shape if you don't if you already have a really slim face you don't want to do too much you don't want to do all of this dramatic stuff because at the end of the day you'll be looking like you're structured like you want to you know make your contour look you know appropriate for your face shape and type it's so important don't just copy and paste every single thing you see now i'm going to use my beauty sponge right again and then i'm going to start tapping i'm going to just be showing you the difference on both sides so you see 
there's just so much going on there and especially for beginners sometimes you end up having to struggle with you know the finished work so i'm just going to blend it out so you want to tap the product in and also your beauty sponge make sure that you're sure where you're using i'm using a clean part right now i'm using a clean part i'm not using the dark part so be careful where you use or use multiple sponges if you have more so you can see my face here and then see here if you look straight you see that this part looks lifted compared to this part that is just flat now we're going to be using another part that we haven't used to tap the product on the cheeks just keep tapping when you tap it's going to just keep blending in and it's so important that you control where your hand goes because if your hand keeps coming into um the highlighted area around here you're just going to mix up all the products on your face so be highly conscious of where your hand is touching and then we're just going to tap this in and remember if you don't stop halfway the whole thing is going to be a huge mess so i'm just going to show you what this looks like if you do it wrong and how your face will be you see the difference neatly done nicely done still a work in progress but you see the difference so if you don't place your contour right it's going to go into the wrong place and everything is going to be looking all messy so as much as possible try to control what you do with your beauty sponge and what happens and now you can see that the creasing is coming <laughs> gradually it's building up we're still like a few minutes into the whole process so now i'm just going to tap the per the part that is on my um temple and then I'm just going to blend it in. Same thing goes to the lower part of the face. The chin area needs just, you know, that little touch too. Make sure you don't have any products in the corners of your nose. Yeah. So see, wrong. Wrong. Right. See the difference? If you do it wrong this is what you get something similar to this so now to proceed i'm going to be using any fluffy um brush like this that you have you can use it to blend out so now starting from the corners i'm just going to push the product outward so you're basically just pushing it down just you know trying to spread it down so one thing about contouring that you need to know is that the darker colors creates shadows and i'm thinking of the easiest way to put it when something has shadow that part that it, like that has a shadow is kind of like you know not as seen as the parts that have enough light you get what i mean so basically what contouring does is kind of like creating shadows for you creating shadows for you so that the parts that you feel you know you don't really like kind of like is distracted from the whole from the whole thing like from the rest of the face so any place you place the dark colors are kind of like you know kind of like hidden while the parts where you you have the brighter colors kind of like come up you know so just take it push it out push it outward outward first after you've pushed out the excess outward you're now going to go back and forth if you notice something i'm highly intentional with the way I let the product, the brush touch the, you know, the con the highlight in the middle. Because if this brush touches the highlight in the middle, it ends up ruining and mixing the colors. And then what I would have will not be the color that I placed initially. So you want to be highly careful with what you do with your brush. Now I'm going to come in again with the brush I used previously, the same one I used to place my contour. Any brush around this size, it's okay right and I'm just going to use it to tap 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 this is where your patience is tested because it's so important that you take your time to get it done right back with the other brush blend out the edges
and then to finish it up you use any part of your beauty sponge that you feel i'm just always using the same beauty sponge because it's easier for people to relate to because most people don't have multiple sponges like professional artists so i'm just showing you how you can also manage the same sponge and achieve the same desired result so there's always going to be that neat part of your sponge you know you just always go back to that part where you haven't really used and then you just squeeze it in you can also get the micro the macro and micro whatever it's called beauty sponges because those ones are kind of like easier to use because smaller you know they're smaller so that's just about what it looks like so once we've done that i'm going to be using the one size translucent powder you can use any translucent powder of your choice it doesn't have to be this particular brown brand if you don't want to and i'm going to be using my puff i got this from amazon and then i'm just going to take a little bit of the translucent and then i will set under my eye if you're dark skin please go for the translucent dark or translucent deep depending on the brand you're going for and just place this particular product in the highlighted area only so i'm going to just use it to snatch out the side of my nose like so can you see what i'm doing snatch out the side side of my nose So I really like this particular shape because you know it's kind of like easy to use to define like the inner corners, the side of the nose. It has that flat edge that makes it easy for you. So I'm just going to use it too. So it's so translucent that it kind of like disappears as compared to like a lot of other brands that I, I have tried in the past that it didn't really, you know, it just kind of like didn't really give me the desired um uh results so just make sure that you place the product on on the part you highlighted i'm using the tip of the puff to highlight the middle of my nose this is highly optional but i i find that it kind of like helps to snatch the nose you know lift the middle even more especially for people with the overly de um, defined or structured nose or big nose like myself i mean big nose is is not is not a problem because we have the uh, contour now to fix all of those things so and then i'm going to use whatever is left on my sponge to you know dab around my forehead a little product around my chin if you want to you can go as far as snatching the the lower part just before your jaw your jaw line and then just snatch it following the same pattern you used to contour your face previously so you see we just have something wrong going on here you know, I'm just kind of like placing them side by side so you can see the difference and see why your contour may be always looking wrong so you see so just make sure that you know you just use whatever i left on just on, on your puff to just kind of like so i want to move back so you can see me properly I'm going to be using something fluffy like this and i'm going to be using my um, powder i'm using my usual powder so i'm just using this powder brush to just blend out the certain powder that i have i like to take like a circular motion please note i haven't placed any product on my contour this is extremely important i haven't placed any product on my contour please just try as much as possible to be careful where you are blending out at this point because if you blend it wrong you're going to end up not liking the outcome so i'm just going to get another clean brush like the first one i used to contour and i'm going to use it just in the inner corners of my face 
and also to blend out the product on the outer corner of my nose. And then the center. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is the shade Mocha Miami. That's what I'm using. And I'm just going to grab the brush I just showed you and apply on the contour this time. It's almost like the brush is not even touching my face. You can obviously see the difference, right? My face is looking nicely done on this side and then here looking wrongly done. So I'm just going to fix this side of the camera and then return with the finished look and then show you guys what everything looks like. So at this point, we're at this snatch, we're looking good, ready to go. If you want to, you can lock up using your highlighter. I'll be using the Dior Backstage Highlighter and I'm going to be using a combination of this color and this color to just get something that, you know, works for my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the middle. Hmm. And then the highest point of your cheeks, not on the contour, just slightly above. So it's not difficult to tell. Just have to be, make sure you're not placing it right where you did your contour. Just slightly above. So at this point, um, you know, everything is all done. Hope you've been able to learn a thing or two from today's video. Please do not forget to subscribe if, you don't, if you've not done so. And if you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment below, tell me how, you, how much you liked it, and tell me the looks you want me to create in subsequent videos. And also, as much as you can, share this video with someone else. It won't hurt. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.